what's going on everybody we're back again with another mre review uh thanks for watching the channel guys the support has been crazy i've had shout out the main channel crew i've had so many people tell me they like my videos i don't i don't know why all i do is sit here and look like an idiot and eat mres but i thank it uh i would try to name everybody but i would forget somebody and leave somebody out so i'm not gonna even try <clears throat> but if you're from that uh main channel crew uh big thanks i hope you guys like this one i think we got, got a good one today <clears throat> today's mre menu 22 beef goulage had a pop-up ad pop-up that's that's lucky beef goulage i'm excited for it i got the hot water making for that bill's brew that we know is going to be in there okay so let's open this bad boy up and uh, well we can try if it'll open there we go Let's get going. All right, here we go. Wow, it's all in one pack. Okay. Empty bag. Put that. I might put some trash in there later. All right. Let's get this puppy started. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for the support. I, I can't believe it. It's insane to me. Uh, I hope you guys like this one. Um, I do it for you guys. I do it. I do. It. Well, I mean, I did it before for you guys. I do it for. You know what I mean. So this is the beef goulash, pretty, pretty standard looking packet. Here is the uh, heat of the packet it goes in. It says beef goulash, beef with brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. Okay, it is 240 calories, 227 grams. Wow, that's really not a lot of calories. Uh, yeah, all right, good stuff. Let's see what we got here. This is the, oh, applesauce. Never had applesauce before. Oh, this is great. Applesauce. Applesauce enhanced with ma ma maltodextrin for increased performance. All right, I like it. Never had the applesauce before. So we'll have to see how that goes. I'm excited for that. I do like applesauce. There we go. Patriotic sugar cookies. That's what we're here for. Patriotic sugar cookies. <laughs> That's what it's all about. I uh, haven't had those before either, so this is looking like a great pack. Here is the accessory pack. We'll open that up here in a second. What we got here? Chunky peanut butter. Oh, man. All right. If you know me, you know I'm a creamy peanut butter kind of guy. Always have. Always always have been. Probably always will be. But I will eat this because for you guys, I'm telling you, I'll eat it. But chunky peanut butter. I can't really feel any pieces of peanut in there. So maybe it's not too chunky. I've just always been a creamy peanut butter kind of guy. But anyways, what we got here? This is a white wheat snack bread. Just, uh, I'll probably put the peanut butter on that. It feels, I don't know. That's weird. We'll, we'll have to open that up and see what it looks like. And what we got here? Some strawberry jam. Oh, we're making a PB&J. We're making a PB&J. With the chunky peanut butter and the strawberry jam. Oh, yeah. What else we got here? Chocolate hazelnut protein drink powder. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you know I get down on this chocolate protein powder. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's gonna fuel me up for the day, I'll tell you what. Here we go. Classic standard MRE spoon. And our FRH Flameless ration heater all righty uh, let's get into that accessory packet and see what else we got all righty what do we got got some uh, chewing gum uh, i don't know what flavor it is i don't know why i just tried to smell it that was stupid iodized salt we'll put that in the goulash uh, some uh classic MRE napkins slash toilet paper. This stuff is not great, but you'll take it when you need it. Here is some beverage-based lemonade. Okay, get some. I don't think half of this stuff we've never had before, so this is a great MRE for us. And of course, the moist towelette. Let's open that puppy up and clean ourselves because sanitation is important. There's no coffee. There was no coffee in this one. 
Oh, holy smokes. I've never had one without coffee. This is, oh, this is just a great MRE. And this towelette is super moist. Guys, this is unheard of. This towelette is really moist. It's actually like got my hands kind of wet. There was no coffee. So I've got that hot water over there for nothing. Holy smokes. I can't believe they didn't have any coffee in it. Wow. That is crazy. I cannot believe they didn't have coffee. Wow. That's, hey, this is a first, guys. This is a first. All right. Well, okay. Let's, uh, let's just start the MRE, the FRH then, just because we want it to be heating up while we get the rest of our stuff prepared. So if you guys have ever been curious about what the actual heating element looks like, it's just like a little uh, container like this, and it's got little granules of stuff in there. Uh, my boss, Clay Smith at Main Channel, he's like an environmental engineer, so he could probably tell you what it is in here that you just combine it with water and it makes it hot. But that's what it looks like. And when used effectively, it gets the job done. All right. So, oh, I wish I could slide that in there. There we go. All righty. So where's that beef goulash? There's nothing else to heat up this time with it. It's just the goulash. Let me just loosen it up a little bit. Uh, it, I mean, it feels, I can feel some serious chunks of something in there. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's just slide that bad boy in there. Oh, let's drop it. I cannot believe there's no coffee in it, guys. I can't believe it. Here, let me adjust this a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better, maybe. There we go. I cannot believe they didn't put any coffee into it. That is crazy. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's good. All right, let's put some water in there. And I think the last few times I've done this, I've put too much water. So we're just going to go with a little bit today. And we're just going to say hope that's good enough. Just a little bit of water ought to get it done. Let's fold it up. Shake it a little bit. Get, it, get all that on the heat and element. Man, I can hear it working. It looks good. So we will let that do its thing. Slide this back into the heating pouch and we will wait and see how that goes i can't believe they didn't have any coffee in it we'll set this to the side over here yeah i can hear it working i can't believe it okay all right well that's crazy uh let's open these whole wheat snack breads let's give these a shot so got here Oh, it's just one piece. Oh, look. Look at that. It looks like kind of... It smells... I don't even know how to describe it. Like, not bad, but there's something there. Maybe some shortening. Some butter, maybe. I don't know. It, I mean, it, the consistency is not bad. I mean, it's not hard. It's a little bit... It's dry. Holy smokes. I might be the driest bread I've ever had, ever. So, hopefully that jam comes in clutch. Kind of moisten that up. All right, let's open this spoon. Mm, let's make the drinks. So, here we've got beverage-based lemonade. Add 20 fluid ounces bottled water. Let's see, how much is in this bottle? That's 16.9, so it wants a little bit more than that, but I don't really care. So, uh, yeah, I cannot believe that they didn't have coffee in this one. That's insane to me. Every single MRE I've ever opened. I know I'm going on about it, guys, but crazy. <clears throat> there we go. All right.
Oh, it smells kind of like a like lemon lime beer song. Does it smell like? <clears throat> Alright, let's try it out. Let's give it some sturdy stirs. I got to try it. I got to. I'm sorry. Hmm. It's not really lemony. It's just like, tastes like watered down. Just minute made. It just tastes like one of those packs you just put in a water bottle. Nothing outstanding. <clears throat> it's not bad either though. Uh, yeah, let's get the uh, other, other drink. Here we go. The chocolate hazelnut protein drink powder. All right, how much they want in this one? Eight ounces of cold water. Okay. Eight ounces. This is 17, so a little bit under half will be about eight ounces. I'm excited about this. We will see how it goes. That beef goulash is heating up. Yeah. All right, that smells, that smells good. It smells kind of like Nesquik. <clears throat> or like the yuho powder. All right, let's see if I can pour this without spilling it all over the place. That is probably right at it. That's a good. All right, let's seal this bad boy back up, and then shake it. And I will be pouring it into this glass so that we can just see what it looks like. I mean, we probably know what it's going to look like, but. Uh, so the applesauce, I'm, I guess you could probably put the applesauce on the bread. But I've got bread, I've got peanut butter, and I've got jam. There's only one thing you can do. And that's make a PB&J. I do prefer grape jam over uh, strawberry, but hey. I don't really care. So it's going to be good either way. All right. That shook up pretty good. Let's open it up. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's pour this sucker out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. The consistency of that is, I mean, it looks like the other chocolate protein drink powders we've had before on the channel, so no surprise there. Just give it a good stir. taste the hazelnut in that. That's not just chocolate. That says it was a chocolate hazelnut. You can taste the hazelnut in that. I'm just going to add a, just to finish this bottle off. I think it needs a little bit more. All right. Let's see how this beef goulash is feeling. Oh, it is hot down there. Holy smokes. Do a little shaky shake. Let's see if we can get the other heat elements to start heating up. All right. Uh, let's get this applesauce out. We will now. The smart way to go about this seems to just like leave it in the pack, but I'll put some on a spoon and show you guys what it looks like, and I'll just eat the rest from the pack. Seems like a pretty convenient, less messy way to go about it. If I can open it up a little bit more, there we go. Yeah. All right. So let's put some of this out onto our MRE spoon, and we'll take a look at it. Yeah, you can't really say. I mean, it just looks like apple applesauce, guys. Re kind of watery applesauce, not really thick. 
Mm, that's really sweet applesauce. That is really sweet applesauce. I'll try to see how much sugar they put into it. 28 grams of sugars includes 18 grams of added sugars. Yeah, that's really sweet. That is really sweet. <clears throat> but, I mean, hey, it tastes good. My fingers are sticky just from getting that little bit of my fingers. That's how sweet it is. Mm. <clears throat> All right, let's make this PB&J. <clears throat> Probably going to be an open top sandwich just because there's not really enough bread here to <clears throat> make a top bottom top sandwich, but that's okay. It'll be fine. So, <clears throat> question for you guys, leave, leave, leave your response down in the comments. I've got two, creamy or crunchy peanut butter, okay? Creamy or crunchy, and then number three, or number two, do you put on the peanut butter before or after the jelly? Or, yeah, before or after, do you put them on the same piece of bread, like peanut butter, then the jelly on top of it? Or do you put the peanut butter on one piece of bread and put the jelly on another piece of bread and then combine the two? I'm not sure. I normally go with the peanut butter on one piece and then put the jelly on top of that one, like on the same piece of bread. But if you guys have a different recommendation, let me know. Okay. Let's get a piece of it by itself. Mm-hmm. I can taste the peanut. Taste the peanut in it. Which, yeah, I know is okay. I'm not one to complain. All righty. This has made a mess. I went about this poorly. That's all right. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. There we go. My face good? Yep. My face is good. It's just a real watery, real watery lemonade. lemonade. That's okay. All right, let's try to put the strawberry on top of it. And then we'll judge the results. If I can open it, my goodness. There we go. Did that a little bit better. All right, let's try some of this jam by itself. Look at that. Just real thick. Strawberry jam. That's really thick. Wow. That is a really thick jam. It's not even as sweet as the applesauce. The applesauce is a lot sweeter. Oh, this is going to be so good. I just know it is. All right, let's just put that on there. Oh, yeah. And let's just kind of flatten it out on the plate. Oh, this is going to be tasty. I just know it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good stuff. Whoa! You can really taste the hazelnut in this. That tastes like liquid Nutella. That is very hazelnutty. All right, let's get into these patriotic sugar cookies. I love it. Patriotic, that's what I'm talking about. What do they look like? <laughs> they're, they're little shapes. We got a star here. <laughs> they just taste like animal crackers. Oh, I got to see if they got more shapes in here. Oh, this is great. We got a... Oh, here's the Statue of Liberty's flame. That's fantastic. Oh, my gosh. What? The Liberty Bell. You can see the crack in it. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's see if I can find another one. 
this oh what is this is this a is it supposed to be an eagle i think it's supposed to be a bald eagle i can't really tell part of the let me see if i can find another one there's a statue of liberty there's supposed to be an uncle sam like top hat american top hat silica gel we don't want that there's a bunch of liberty bells oh it is supposed to be an eagle here's a better one Let's be an eagle. So, oh, here's an American flag. Fantastic. Patriotic sugar cookies. I love it. I love it. That's the only ones we got. We got the Liberty Bell. We got the eagle. We got the Statue of Liberty flame. We got the American flag and got the Uncle Sam top hat. That's fantastic. I mean, that's fantastic. Patriotic sugar cookies. I thought that was just to describe them. I mean, technically it is. I thought it was just having fun. But they're quite literally patriotic sugar cookies. And they just taste like animal crackers. So, good stuff. Let's take a bite of this PB&J. See how it goes. Mmm. That's good stuff. Mmm. Mmm. With the lemonade too? That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. With the lemonade too. Guys, that is splendiferous. Mmm. That's just really, really good. I mean, it just tastes fantastic. It tastes amazing. Let's get into some of this applesauce here. Yeah, just really sweet, really sweet applesauce, really thin applesauce. Ah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one off. Ah, and then I think we're going to get into that beef goulash. I just, excuse me. Sauce. Then we're going to get into that beef goulash and we'll put some of that salt on it. I'm excited. Yeah, now my hand's going to be sticky. Oh, that's okay. Mm. All right. So, this summary so far, really good. Nothing to complain about, but time for the main course that beef goulash mm. yep it's got that classic chemical smell <clears throat> oh yeah let's pull this bad boy out Let me dump this water out. All right. Beef goulash. This is pretty, yeah, it's pretty warm. <clears throat> Let's open it up and see what we got. Oh, that smells like pepperoni. It smells like, like pepperoni. Ooh. Let's, I mean, let's just get it out of there, right? Oh. Ow. I'm burning my hand. Wow. Yeah, it smells just like pepperoni. Big cuts of beef in there. Really big cuts of beef in this. Like, that is sizable. Beef cuts. 
All right, let's just try a bite without the salt. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's good. Kind of slightly spicy. Slightly spicy. I don't know what part of it made it like that. I'm telling you, I smell like pepperoni. But it smells good and it tastes good. That is good. And it is nice and warm. Let's put some of the salt on there. That's way too much salt. My bad. Let's mix that up a little bit. <clears throat> so, guys, overall, this ration has been fantastic. This might be one of the best we've ever done. New stuff we've never had before. Didn't have a coffee packet, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a nice cut of beef too. Cooked good, that's tender. Mm. Mm. Gosh, that's just a quality cut of beef. Oh man. Guys, <clears throat> this MRE has been fantastic. If I had to give it a rating, I'm giving it a eight. I gotta give it an eight. If I had the coffee, it's probably an eight point five or a nine. Okay, this has been a fantastic MRE. Everything you could want, everything is good, tastes good. The lemonade, the hazelnut, hmm. everything's good. If I had the coffee, it's like an eight point five, maybe even a nine. This has been a fantastic MRE. I'm gonna eat this in this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, thanks to everybody at Main Channel that has watched these videos. I don't know why. It's just me sitting in my kitchen eating MREs like an idiot. But I got to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed these. Um, we've got one more MRE for next time. It's a tuna. Don't know when that one will come out. Maybe sometime sooner because I'm about done with school. So I'm going to have a little bit more free time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, beef goulash MRE. Eight, eight, yeah, give it an eight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day.